what it do guys and welcome to a quick guide on stone cutting and faceting. And before we jump straight into it, it must be noted that to get the best out of your stones, you really want to understand the engravings you need for your class. Knowing this will give you a good sense and direction on what exactly you want to be achieving. I have made a guide on engravings, so feel free to check that video out first if you prefer to. If not, don't worry about the system as it's not too hard to figure out. To begin, you'll be wanting to have an unranked fossetted stone. You can tell a stone is unranked because underneath the random engraving effects, there won't be any plus numbers. As you can see by comparing an unranked stone next to a fossetted stone, you can see the difference between them. Within all major cities, search for the NPC named Ability Stonecutter. Now you can open up your map and just type in the NPC's name here to see which icon is flashing. So let's just head straight over to them. Speaking to the trader will open up a fresh new interface where you can select and choose which unranked stones you will want to now fossil on the left hand side. Any stones that have already been ranked will not show up here. But now let's select a stone. As we do, you'll be presented with a little hammer icons next to each ability and a row of empty nodes that you will slowly be filling up as you continue to attempt hammering into it. Your success rate will always start at 75%. This is the highest that it can go. So although the odds are in your favor, you're never truly settled for getting a guarantee. With each press of the hammer icon, you are attempting to roll a chance to gain a node point within this ability. No points will help you reach higher levels within that engraving. So the idea is you want to get as many nodes as you possibly can within the ability or abilities that you ideally want. Each successful node point you gain will decrease the next probability factor by 10%. So for example, if you have 75%, you will drop to 65% on a successful node increase. And if you successfully do that again, you'll drop another 10%. So from 65 to 55. This pattern continues all the way up until the lowest value of 25%. This pattern also switches whenever you fail a node. It will increase up to 10%. So you are always struggling a 10% value after every action you do, no matter what. That's easy to remember. And you will be needing to fill out all of the stones. So every single icon, every single node has to be attempted. Stones also offer curse related states, a negative ability buff for your character that you genuinely wouldn't want. Some are attack speeds, some are movement speeds, and some are even defense decreases. So with this in mind, you may have already noticed that we are trying to juggle the best possible outcome for the nodes that we want versus the nodes we ideally do not want. Again, end of the day, it's all RNG anyways, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to give you a general direction on what to do. A rule of thumb I have been applying to my stones is anytime I'm between 75 and 65%, I will roll for the main ability that I need. If I happen to drop below to 55% on those successes, I will now roll into the second ability I would want. And although I may or may not need it, it's just going to have to work with the middle probability success rate. This way, it's there to try and help juggle between the negative effects that I don't want and the ability that I do want. So between 55% to 45%, I will aim for the second ability. From there onwards, the lower the chance of succeeding, the more I want to try and invest that into my negative reduced ability. 45% to about 25% may help us waste a node and build back up our success rate to help the other positive abilities benefit more. I know this may seem like a lot of information, but I assure you it's not. If you ever need a few stones just to go ahead and test and mess around with as soon as you get them, then honestly, within your early game of Lost Ark, I encourage you to go ahead and do this. These stones are not as valuable, so please understand what it is that you're doing and what it is that you're trying to achieve. I will juggle a few stones on screen as I'm still talking right now to show you a rough idea of what I'm doing and what I think I would be wanting from that stone. This way you can see a rough pattern I am taking. Every rarity on a stone provides a different amount of nodes you will need to attempt overall. So if you don't see as many nodes as you do on your screen as compared to mine, don't worry, you will. You just need better rarity stones. I will also add into my video description below a really well done stone cutting calculator made by another player that you can use to help show you the best probabilities and patterns that you can take to help you get the best cuts from your stones. Again, it's all RNG. 
But as always, guys, I try to keep this video as short and as sweet as possible. If this guy has helped you, then I would really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Please share with another player if you think this would help them understand as well. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more future videos. But as always, I will be seeing you guys again in the next video.